All right, let's take our dsum function criteria even a step further. We've seen a single criteria where we're getting where category is equal to rent, and we've included the software category as well. So now we're getting total sales where category is equal to rent or software. Well, that was an or statement. Let's take a look at utilizing an and statement inside of our criteria. Now I'm gonna start out simple with this one and then we can build up. So my first step, I'm gonna to go to my formula. I'm gonna give that just a double click here. And I'm gonna change my criteria from I2 to I4. I'm gonna go back to just rent. So I'm gonna change that I4 to an I3. I'll hit my enter key and we're back to the 71,160. Now I don't need software anymore, so I'm gonna delete that one out. I could leave it there. The formula is not looking at it but let's get rid of it for right now. So now I'm back to the single criteria where category equals rent. Now, I wanna add another bit of criteria in here, but not for the category column. I wanna add it for the division. Okay. So I need another column here. I'm gonna jump into cell I, or what is that, H2. And here, I'm gonna take division. So I'm gonna type in division. Let's make sure I spell it just like it shows it here, D-I-V-I-S-I-O-N. Great, I can spell. Uh, I'm gonna grab category, and I'm gonna use the Format Painter on the Home tab just to format that cell so it looks the same. We create that consistency there. Totally just an option, not required of you. Really, the only thing that's required is that that text right there matches the text inside the list. That's the big gotcha. If those don't match, if you misspelled it, you put an extra space in there, whatever it happens to be, then the function's not gonna know where to find that value in the list. So make sure that that's proper. Now, right now, again, we're getting total sales, 71,160, where the category is equal to rent. Now we wanna drop in division. I'm gonna say, give me north. So now, this is an and statement. I wanna get total sales, where category equals rent and division equals north. So where those two things are true, then sum it up. All right, so if I go into my formula here, I'm gonna click on J3. I'm gonna go hit the little FX button and let's just change our criteria. So instead of I2 to I3, we're gonna do H2 to I3. So I'm just gonna change that from an I2 reference to an H2 reference. Let's get that entire little table there, and I'll hit OK. And we've now got our total where division equals north and category equals rent. So we've got both and and or statements that we can accomplish here within our dsum functions. Now, what about both of them together? We did an or, that was with rent, and a category of rent or software. Now we've got an and, we're getting where division is north or category equals rent. Well, what if I want multiple categories for the same division or different divisions? Well, take a look. If I go back to the formula again, I wanna put another row down below for more criteria. I'm gonna to go to my formula. I'm gonna to go to the FX button and I'm gonna change it from I3 to I4 so that we include the fourth row down below as another criteria section, right? Just this area right here, H2 to I4. So I'll hit okay. Now the number did change because those cells are blank. There's no criteria there. So it's actually including everything within there. So I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna say, I want north again, but this time that number then changed again because now it's calculating for all of north but I want a specific category for North. So I'm gonna put software in there. I'll hit my enter key. So we're utilizing the dsum function. We can get the total sales where the division is equal to North and rent, or it's equal to North and software. So now we've got both and and or criteria inside of our dsum. Now there's a bit going on in here, but really what it comes down to is you've got your column headers, 
and down below you've got any criteria that you want to include in the calculation. Just remember to get in there and update the criteria section so that it includes everything you want to include in the calculation. Try this out. Even, you know, experiment with it. Try some other ones inside there. Different divisions, different categories. Maybe you want a different, different division for a different category. Whatever it happens to be. The beauty of this calculation is you've got all the values right there. You can modify them, change them to whatever you need, and the calculation updates for you. Try this one out.